Hi YouTube, it's Ari and today we're going to be making banana bread. This is another really simple recipe to bake and I love it, my friends love it. It's great for those things if you need to take something to school for a food day if you guys do that. It's great for a party, it's great to take over to someone else's house. If you... This is about 50 grams of vegan margarine. Um, I've put it in the microwave before I started this to already melt it beforehand. This is a cup of brown sugar, which I again use because it's healthier, less processed than white sugar. You can use white sugar, I used to use it as well. This is 400 grams of self-raising flour, three mashed bananas because bananas are amazing, even though they don't look that nice when they're mashed. This is 250 grams of coconut milk. Again, you could also probably use cream, it might give it a bit of a different flavour. And then vanilla extract again and cinnamon. It gives it a nice extra flavour to the banana bread. I've already set my oven on. It's 180 degrees Celsius fan forced. Um, I'll put a comment in the description telling you what that is in Fahrenheit if you're unsure. So yeah, let's get started with this. Um, we're going to be cooking this in a bread tin. This is mine. And I don't really like using baking paper, so I used to get more vegan margarine. Eh, margarine. Sorry. Um, and you just spread it out along the tin so that you've got it evenly smoothed out around the tin and that way your bread won't stick to this outside. Okay, so oiled, well, there's margarine all through it that should prevent the bread from sticking as you cook it. Quickly wash your hands. So this is really easy. I've got a big bowl here and you literally just have to add all of the ingredients that are aforementioned and I'll also put them in the description below into the bowl Ugh. I love bananas but they look disgusting when they're mashed So all of the ingredients into the bowl and just mix it until it's all combined, which shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And you'll want to mix this as well until it's completely smooth. Well, only like little clumps of banana in it, unless you, uh, if you don't want the clumps of banana through the banana bread, I rather like them myself, but if you don't, you can always puree the banana before you put it in. And then the banana will be more evenly spread throughout, which is also quite nice. And yeah, so I'm also going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla essence to this. This vanilla goes great with it. And also just a bit of cinnamon on top of that. The cinnamon gives it a nice extra kick, like I said. It gives it a flavour other than banana. It, to me, I find it really enhances the flavouring. If you don't like cinnamon, you can leave it out or you could try another combination of things. Maybe another fruit. Apples would be really nice in this, I think, actually. or raisins, raisins or sultanas, whatever you want to call them. Dried cranberries as well, I think would be rather good. So, again, this is one of those easily customizable things. If you don't like coconut milk, you can use soy milk. If you aren't vegan, you could use normal milk as well. You don't have to follow the recipe exactly as it is. This is relatively smooth, I've still got clumps of bananas through it, as you can see. Maybe. Maybe you can see. Um, but that is good. So then we've got our oil tin and we're just going to put all of the banana bread mixture into the tin. And this is another one of those things that is really yum to just eat the dough of. It's one of the reasons I love baking. So 
So it's a bit runny as you can see, it wobbles when you move it, but as soon as, well not as soon as, but once you take it out of the oven, it should be nice. It usually rises really well with the flour and everything. So now that everything's done, we can just put this in the oven. Um, like I said before, 180 degrees Celsius, fan forced if possible, and we'll just leave that to cook for an hour. And you're done! Probably better to use oven mitts, but I'm going to use a tea towel instead because we don't have any at the moment. So... I'm not sure if you can see much. It looks quite nice. or something just poke it through the middle and if it comes out clean like this one has you're done it'll probably take a while to cool down but as soon as it's cool you can just remove it from the tin it should come out easily enough if not you can use a blunt knife around the edges of the tin and then it's really easy to get out okay so I've been waiting relatively patiently for the last few hours for this to cool down a bit you can feel around the sides it's still a bit warm the container stays warm a bit longer than anything else but, if you grab a blunt knife or something and go around the edge of the banana bread, all of the sides just to make sure that you've got nothing stuck to the, any of the edges. And I've got a container like this, which is great for cakes and things like banana bread. This is literally the perfect size. So I'm just going to quickly Tilt this over, and it comes out easily, like I said it would. And then you've got your finished product, really easily done, and not too much is stuck around the side, so this is going to be easy to wash up. So the banana bread's great, warmed up later with a bit of margarine or a bit of sugar and cinnamon on top as well. It's great by itself as well. It's, I find it stays really moist even for the next couple of days so if you eat it over the next couple of days it'll be fine at any point. You don't really even need to heat it up or put margarine on it or anything so yeah done with that. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the banana bread. I hope that you'll enjoy making it. Like I said it's really easy um, and pretty much everyone loves banana bread so yeah Hope you guys liked it and leave comments below.